Welcome here today to Hot Legendary Wheels. We greatly appreciate y'all being with us here today. And we have a legendary, Dad, that's right. We have a legendary video for them here today. That's right. Yeah, we got some cars and trucks here today at the diecast world that are, I mean, they are just beautiful. They're second to none. They're just wonderful, wonderful representations of, of the cars that we see out here every day. A lot of them are. First and foremost, we promised you to all of our new subscribers that we would show y'all the Smokey and the Bandit car, uh, the diecast car that my dad has. The 77 Pontiac Firebird. That is coming up in this show. Also coming up in the show, we have some red editions that we're going to be showing y'all that we found yesterday and some other cool matchbox along the way. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. You don't want to miss out on the next video we're going to have for you. And make sure you hit the notification bell. Right now, we want to appreciate every single new subscriber we have. Thank you very much. Without y'all, this channel is not possible. Every subscriber is special to us, so thank you very much. Let's jump straight into this video. We've got so much to show you today. We've got so much to cover. And first and foremost, like we promised, here it is. This is the Smokey and the Bandit, the 77 Pontiac Firebird by Real Rides. Dad, this was an incredible movie. Yes, it was, but uh, it was an incredible car as well. Prior to 1977, well, matter of fact, the 77 was the 10th anniversary of the Trans Am uh, by Pontiac. It was started in 67. But prior to 1977, they had offered a 400 and a 455 V8, big blocks. They uh, The 400 had 185 horses, the V8, I mean the 455. Well, it carried about 200 horses. Low compression was the technology of the day. Thus, uh, I guess you would say the 455 today, if they had a 455 out like that, they'd probably turbo the thing and have 700 horses in it. But at any rate, it was still enough to pull that car around real nice. Now, in 1977, there was no more 455. The last 455 Trans Am was produced in 1976 and 77. It was replaced with a 301 cubic inch engine. That was basically for economy, and you'd find that in the formula, the Firebird formula, maybe the Firebird Esprit. But in the Trans Am, they had replaced the 400, 455 with a 6.6 .6 liter. That was the car that Burt Reynolds and uh, Jerry Reed, when they're in the movie Smokey and the Bandits, <laughs> That was the one they wanted for the movie. That was the one that was their favorite car. They said, we want the Trans Am, so they got the Trans Am. You know, a question I have is, how many Trans Ams did they go through? Because, you know, they 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 crashed the Trans Am, and then, you know, they ran them to death. So you kind of wonder how many Trans Ams they went through in the movie. Well, I don't know how many they went through, per se. I guess there, somebody would know. I don't know that, but I do know they did wreck a few of them. But uh, the Trans Am actually was as big, if not bigger, star than the, <laughs> the people stars yes, were. Yes. But it was a very beautiful car in the movie. And uh, it, Burt Reynolds did most all the stunts and everything in that Trans Am. And it was just a, a fun, fun movie. And it was made that way because of what Burt Reynolds and the Trans Am could do. You know one of my favorite characters in that movie was? The Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Gleason played the sheriff. Yes, the sheriff. Anyway, it was one of those things where a lot of comedy went into it as well. And But it was it was one of those movies where the Trans Am could really show off. And Burt Rollins could show that Trans Am off of what it could do and what he could do with that Trans Am as well. So, I mean, it was a very beautiful car, a very beautiful movie. And if you notice, everything in this car looks exactly like yes. the Trans Am. Now, that was in the movie. Now, and the tail lights, if you look at the tail lights, the tail lights. they are dark, darker than the black. They look like there's no tail lights there. But then when you put the brakes on, turn the lights on, there would be tail lights. That was a very cool feature to that Look car. at the tag. It says Band 1 on That's the right. tag. That's right. And it, it, was, it was one of those beautiful, beautiful cars that I was even thinking the day, I said, man, you know, why did GM quit making that car? <laughs> you know, it would be awesome if they would 
come back out with the Pontiac Firebird. See, see, the Pontiac Firebird and the Chevy Z28 Camaro, they were cousins. I mean, and they're built on the same chassis. Both carried basically the same horses. Of course, the Chevrolet engine and the Pontiac engine were somewhat different. But uh, as far as the overall size of the cars and everything, and a lot of the body parts were shared uh, by the cars. So, I mean, it was a very, very uh, wonderful time when the when the Z28 and the Trans Am were roaming the roads. It's incredible, but this car is super fast, and that's why we call this a legendary automobile, the 77 Pontiac Firebird. I'm gonna show you something on this box. As you can see on this box right here, there it is. It says Smokey and the Bandit on the box. Where it rides, Smokey and the Bandit. So this is a duplication of the real car as a die cast and real rides did an incredible detailed job dad to this automobile it had led it was a legendary car that was the one of the main stars in a legendary movie and all the characters were played by legendary actors and you couldn't have beat it if you no. wanted to that was the best one of the best most yes. best cast movies of all time and it was hilarious it was funny as rip some, funny, funny. Some people would get around and say, well, it's a good old Southern documentary there. Yeah, something. good old Southern documentary. <laughs> we are now jumping into some other things um, that are really awesome. Dad, we went to uh, Target yesterday. Yes, we did. And yesterday we found four Red Line Edition automobiles. Yep. Uh, part of the 2019 set. And so we're going to be going through these Red Lines with y'all here today. And let us know... These are the cars you have to get them when you find them because exactly. there's, there's something you, like 12 in the set. Let us know if you have these cars. And um, we're going to start off with, I love Volkswagen. So here is the Red Edition Volkswagen Caddy number 12 of 12. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome die cast. Dad. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The Volkswagen has had a history, uh, uh, very illustrious history over its time. And uh, to me, uh, there's, I think the, the, the facts will prove that the Volkswagen Bug was one of the best selling more people on the Volkswagen Bug than a lot of the other cars well, that were made. This. Here is a Volkswagen Bug. That's 1962. 1962 VW Beetle. That's right. From Matchbox Mattel. This was... Um, back in 2005, Mattel Incorporated. So this Beetle came out in uh, 2005. So you have, Dad's talking about the Beetle. There's the 1962 VW Beetle. And then here's the Hot Wheels Red Edition Volkswagen Caddy. How cool is that, Dad? Yeah, the and this is a Red Beetle. The Volkswagen was uh, just German for the folks car. Yes. And, uh, so as anyway, it was... Uh, it survived all the years. Uh, people bought it and everything. But this is the last year... Well, it's been there before. They say it's the last year. Then somewhere down the line, it would come back. And I'm hoping that's what's going to happen this next time because um, I know when I was growing up and even through my 20s and 30s, well, that was a little while ago, but <laughs> the Volkswagen Beetle, I mean, they just... Are you a saying lot you're of, old? No, I'm not old. I'm, you said that was a, you said that was a while ago. I don't care. I, 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 I don't care how long. I was just saying if you were... Saying, I'm just asking if you're saying, oh, I'm old now. No, 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 <laughs> no. Ladies and gentlemen. I ain't never going to get ladies old. Ladies and gentlemen, was, <laughs> you leaving a comment. Was he saying that he was old? Uh, huh? You, yeah, I you know. Said, you said in the video. Uh -uh, I don't say that kind of stuff. <laughs> you said, well, way back then, you know, when I was young. and No, no, no. That's not good to say that. No. Oh, that's so funny. Uh -uh, no, what you say is, uh, I ain't getting older. I'm getting better. <laughs> So let us know what you think about these Volkswagens, the Volkswagen Caddy Red Edition, the two, part of the 2019 Hot Wheels, uh, and the 1962 VW Beetle uh, back in 2005 in uh, Mattel Incorporated and Matchbox. These two automobiles are legendary. They are yeah. incredible. And I'll tell you one thing, Dad. I love, 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 like I said, I love Volkswagen. I still, I still enjoy seeing the seeing the vintage bugs coming down the road, whether it's the old microbus or the Volkswagen, the Carmagia, the Beetle. Yep. Uh, it doesn't matter. They're all just super cool cars. 
So the second uh, Red Edition car we have is the Hot Wheels Rapid Responder, number 6 of 12. I love, like I said, I love Target Red Editions. They're really cool. They're really awesome. We was really blessed to find these four yesterday on the pegs. We were really blessed to find them. And, you know, we went down to this Target. We didn't know if we were going to find anything. And they had a lot. Target's a really good place to shop for Hot Wheels. Um, and so is Walmart. So is Kroger. All these places are really good to shop for Hot Wheels. Um, but we went down to Target yesterday and we were like, wow, we found four red editions, Dad. Yeah. I love this Hot Wheels Rapid Responder has been in the collection for a long time. I can remember back in the 90s when the Hot Wheels Rapid Responder actually came out. It was a mm-hmm. metal, um, it was a metal base. Um, and we, you know, I think we got that in the collection. We're going to have to dig it out and and let y'all see it in the in the future. Yeah, a lot of things we just have to go kind of dig and you we know. Have to go dig because, like it's, I said, we've got a literally, literally, literally. It's kind of like when we go looking for them. You never know what you're going to find. <laughs> and sometimes when you start going through those boxes, you say, I never knew I had that. Or else you say, Whoa, I forgot about that one. Yeah, I, I forgot remember. about that one. Wow. <laughs> So, these red editions are really cool. Yeah. We do have the uh, first release of the Hot Wheels Rapid Responder back in the 90s. I just got to find it. At, you know, we just got to find our collection, but we oh, do we'll, have it. We'll find them. Uh, we, will, we will definitely find them. And it's so cool to see how they've evolved this over the years. Now it's a plastic body. It used to actually be a metal body, but yeah. now it's a plastic body. Um, but it's really, really cool. I want to take a moment before we go through the rest of our Red Editions to thank every single new subscriber we have to this channel. Thank you so much um, for what you do. And, you know, I believe that the subscribers we have, they love the automobile, just like we love the automobile. And it is an honor and it's a privilege to bring you all these videos every single week, Dad. I tell you what, uh, I... I grew up when I, by the time I was two years old, I knew every make and model. Matter of fact, my uncle used to take me out. My great uncle would take me out in the car just to watch me and listen to me yeah. name the cars and stuff. And he he would come back just simply amazed that even as young as I was that I could I could name them all. And I knew the knew the models and everything. What was the first car that you named? Well, the first car that I had was a Studebaker, so I knew the Studebakers when I was born. But I knew Fords and Chevys and the Chryslers. A lot of them was the main things that were on the road at the time. Uh, of course, they had the Nashes and the American Motors cars out there. But then, as the uh, as the Japanese cars, the European cars, the uh, cars from all the world now, China sends cars. I mean, uh, cars from everywhere. And so, I've had to learn a whole bunch of them since then. But yeah, I know most everything is still out there. I can kind but of. But what was you. the first car that you remember when you were a kid? The first one I had uh, remembrance of was my granddaddy's 57 and our 1950 uh, Studebaker. And we had a Studebaker Commander. Mm. And it was a, uh, it was just a cool car. You couldn't tell whether the thing was going forwards or backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you but, couldn't because it looked like the front was in the back and the back was in the front. But in the future, I'm going to bring one of those things out to you and show you. But there's another thing I'm going to show you as well. Oh, oh so, hold up. Hold up. Mm-hmm. What do they have to do for them to see the student? Oh, okay. Record? You got to subscribe. You've got to subscribe. And you got to so, tell people about us. And you've got to share. Because That's here's, right. here's the deal. Hit that thumbs up. Here's the deal. We promised you we would show you this Smokey and the Bandit. Yeah, now, we, if we you keep our see, word. If you want to see Dad's Studebaker, <laughs> if you want to see Dad's Diecast Studebaker, yeah. Subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss out on the Studebaker he has because it is legendary. I will promise you that. There are some cars that came along years and years and years and later that. that I have, and some I have owned real cars that actually use some of the styling that was originally on the 1950 and 51 Studebaker. So isn't that pretty cool? Wow. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see these things. Make sure you hit the notification bell because if you don't hit the notification bell, you won't be notified for the new video. So now we're moving on to the next 
Red Edition, and this one was a really hard one to find. It is the Red Edition of the SRT Viper GTSR. Dad, Viper is incredible. That is one car that I still have to question is why they quit making it too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That Viper. was pure, raw, just turn me loose and let me go wild sports car. I mean, that's what it is. It is just a raw. So I have a question. Powerful car. I have a question for you, Dad. Do you think the Viper could beat the Corvette or or the Corvette to beat, beat the Viper? Hmm. Why you gotta keep going there? <laughs> because I mean, it's. I want y'all to leave comments right now. Okay, we have a Viper out here. All right, we have a SRT Viper GTSR. Okay, the Viper, red edition. The Viper has two more cylinders. Okay, and the horses are comparable because they what about turbo the, the, what, what the about Corvette. Corvette though. Well, it's a, it's a V8, but they turbo a lot of the cars. So I'm talking about probably comparable. Hmm. I'd be pulling. I'd be pulling for the vet. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Personally, for me, I probably have to pull for the Viper. I mean, that's just me. I mean, that's just me. You got. You got. I like Mopar. Uh, yeah, Mopar is incredible. Mopar is awesome. I like Chevy. Yeah, Chevy. We of course we are full full out Chevy fans. But I like some Fords. But I'm talking about the SRT Viper GTSR. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it would be a toss-up for me. That thing may blow the vet off the road. I don't know, but I'm still pulling I'm for the pulling vet. For the, I'm, okay, I'm going, I'm going to pull for the Viper. Now, I want y'all to leave comments of what y'all would pull for, the, the, the Corvette or the Viper. Because I, I know I know Mopar <laughs> dominates a lot of racing uh, out here, but I don't know. I'm still... I'm, I, think, I think if you put a... Okay, here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. I think if you put the SRT Viper GTSR against a Corvette Stingray, the top speeds are very close. I think this is what would happen. Zero to sixty is very close. But I think this is what happened. The Viper would pull away probably a millisecond before the Corvette, definitely, because the Viper has a stronger intake. I am going to stick with my gun. <laughs> 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 let me, ladies and gentlemen, let us know right now. Leave a comment because we love comments. If y'all think I'm wrong, then just let me know. If y'all think I'm right, let me know. But one day, you know, we're just going to see some of this. I have a question, stuff. though. I have a question. Let me lift this up. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. What about can it, um, hmm, can it beat the Mustang? Oh, the Mustang? Oh, no, yeah. that, not just any Mustang, but the Boss. Well, yeah. Can, I, can it beat? Can the Viper beat the Mustang Boss three hundred two? The Mustang is not the fastest of the bunch. This, but is, this is the Hot Wheels Boss three hundred two right here. I know what it is. I see it right there. But I'm telling you, I'm just telling you, if it's a real car, <laughs> if it's a real car, the chances are that Mustang are going to get beat. You think so? Mm-hmm. Yep, more than likely. I don't know. For me, I think I, I pulled for the Viper with the Corvette, but I think the Mustang would beat the Viper. It might, but uh, it's lighter. It's the Boss 302. Yeah, no. No, the, there's, one it, reason, there's one reason. If it was a call, Shelby. There's one reason they call it the Boss, because it's the Boss of the road. If it was a Shelby GT500, that might be a different story. <laughs> Look at this. I, I like this Hot Wheels right here. Um, this Boss 302 Mustang right here. Mm-hmm. Look at that, Dad. Yeah, I know. Cool. How cool is this? Oh, I love a Mustang. And uh, I'm, this not, is, I'm not going to badmouth any Mustang. This is part of the Larry Wood collection. And But I love the Boss the Boss 302. This is an incredible Mustang. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. I have, I have spent a lot of time on the road in a Mustang. So I know, <laughs> I know Mustangs are absolutely cool cars. So the next one we have, Dad, we are, we say this all the time, we are truck lovers. Yes, we are. And, man, when, when you and I saw this truck yesterday in, in Target, we're like, wow, this is a red edition 67 Chevy C10 with the red flames, the white body, 
the red, you know, wall, the red wall tires, just an incredible, incredible die cast. And of course, they got the chrome inside the interior and the chrome bed. Just a bit. Dad, I'm a huge fan of the that, 67 Chevy C10. I'm a huge fan of Chevrolet trucks, period. But these, these, uh, Ford, okay, here's Ford, a question. I learned to drive a manual <laughs> transmission on a Ford truck. Here's a question Chevy or Ford? Huh? Chevy, do you think Chevy, the Chevy, okay, I, I, I just, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have to throw out this question right now. This, this is the question. Okay, so let's, let's say if you took, uh, let's say the 1957 GMC Stepside. Okay. Against the Chevy, 67 Chevy C10, which one would win? I don't know which one would win that battle, but uh, the seat, the the technology would be better in the '67. But I love the body style on the on the '57. I mean, look at this. Here's another one we want to show you right here. Part of Matchbox. I love this. I love, love, love trucks. Dad, dad loves trucks too. And this is really cool. This is the 1957 GMC Stepside from Matchbox. It's the Sheriff. How incredible is that, ladies and gentlemen? Absolutely cool. How cool is that right there, Dad? Absolutely cool. Beautiful, beautiful die cast from Matchbox. And But, you know, I love the way Hot Wheels did this red addition to the 67 Chevy T C10. They're, I'll tell you this. Hot Wheels red editions are very, very special. Very special automobiles. I enjoy, I enjoy when they do these... Uh, additions where they're exclusively to one of the, the department stores or one of the uh, like whether, whether it's Walmart or anything like that or even Walgreens has their exclusives but um, the things that I, I look for on there they put like trademark things or they put like things that would be uh, kind of a signature type statement to the car and of course Target's color is red so naturally you have some a lot of red on these cars, and so it's a very beautiful, beautiful way that they actually will take these cars and make very special additions out of them. And like we said, uh, the, the the Hot Wheels just continues to get better and better with their die cast, but for some reason, I love the old die cast of Hot Wheels because that's where it started. And, you know, it's it's they're, they're so, they're, they're metal, they're beautiful, they're awesome, but every single Hot Wheels that comes out is so special. And Hot Wheels does an incredible job with their die cast, puts so much good detail in their die cast, just like these red editions from Target. Such incredible detail. We have uh, a couple of th three packs over here. Do you guys ever have any trouble finding those three packs anymore? Yeah, leave a comment because that's like they disappeared. <laughs> we have, uh, okay, so let's let's bring these forward. This is a Hot Wheels 3-pack right here. And, you know, we have, like Dad said, we have problems finding these three packs. That was a, what's I think that was the very first one that I ever got a Ranchero, the 65 Ford yeah. Falcon Ranchero. This is really cool right here. And I, that is an absolute cool die cast. And it's got that 61 Chevrolet at the bottom there. Yeah, this is a really, really cool die cast. Um, and really cool 3-pack. Here's another one right here. Another Hot Wheels three pack, and well, like that said, we've got a bunch of these things, but you know we look for them. So no, they're just not, we're just either not stocking them or something. Like that said, we can't really find these three packs anymore, and we used to find them at Walmart all the time. And you know, you would go near the registers at Walmart, and you would find the three packs, and uh, we don't find them anymore. If so, you if you notice, the Mercury Cyclone is a '68. I used to have a '68 Mercury Montego. Yep, there's it, a Mercury Cyclone. It was right. it was not the Cyclone, but it had a lot of the same um, equipment that the Cyclone had on it. And some people found out about that, <laughs> and they always wanted to race it. I never would race it on a race. No, if you if you want to race, you know what the you know what the drag strip is. You know what the drag is. But uh, no, they just wouldn't. They wouldn't. They wanted to race that thing real bad because they knew how fast it really was. Man, so much that we have shown here today. Lord. Yes, I mean we've shown them the. 
Smokey and the Bandit, 77 Pontiac Firebird by Real Rides. Probably one of the most famous yes. Firebirds of all time. Real Rides did such a legendary job on this diecast. Thank you, Real Rides, for doing the diecast of the Smokey and the Bandit, 77 Pontiac Firebird. Thank you, Target, and thank you, Hot Wheels, for doing your red editions. Incredible job. Awesome job. Matchbox did an incredible job on the 1962 VW. Um... Just these three packs of Hot Wheels are incredible. They're so legendary. Every single die cast that we collect, and I want to I just mention this really quick before I show you the last few things we have for you. Every single uh, die cast we collect, whether it's M2s, Johnny Lightnings, Mahistos, Real Rods, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Auto World, Auto World, Racing Champions, Racing M2s. Champions, M2s Every single die cast we collect is special. And every single one of them has unique, unique, special part about them. Right, Dad? That's right. And, you know, that's not that's the reason why we just don't show Hot Wheels on this channel. We show you everything. Because every single die cast has a special, unique point about their die cast. Like, Real Rides will have something that Hot Wheels doesn't. Hot Wheels will have something Matchbox doesn't. But every single one of them are special. I notice these companies that make these things, what a blessing it is because yes. they're preserving the actual replica of an automobile that may not even exist anymore. And you know what's so cool about it? It, it teaches history. But it's the passion. You can see these, these die-cast makers have for doing what they do. But that just translates over to all of us who collect what they produce. Like Larry Wood. Yeah. Larry Wood started Hot Wheels. So I think it's I think it's absolutely just flat out over the top cool myself. Yes. So that's the reason why we show you a variety of die casts. It's simply because every single die cast that we collect is unique. But it is what? It's legendary. legendary. Exactly. Right. So we've got, Dad, you literally have, I think next week, we should do a Johnny Lightning video for him. Yeah, I got, I got quite a few Johnny Lights. We've put quite a few in there. We might mix it with a few. You know, things, you know but, we may mix it, for, but, but let us but I got, comment. I got quite a few of those things. I think it'd be pretty cool. How about we do a Johnny Lightning video for him this next week? I got some to go way back. Yes. So do you. You got some this even in your collection. Yes. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We will definitely do a Johnny Lightning video for you this next week. You don't want to miss out on that video because it is going to be authentic and legendary. It is going to be awesome. Before we leave today, I want to throw, show you three more matchbox that I think are really cool. The first one is this Sahara Survivor. This is really cool right here. This came out right here. Excuse me. 2014 Mattel. So this is a 2014. I believe this is when this first came out. Um, it's part of the Matchbox Explorers. And number 102 of 120. Uh, as you notice, in, the, in 2014, they had 120 automobiles that came out in Matchbox. So this is 102 of 120. Sahara Survivor. Okay, so there's another one right there. The next one we have, also part of the Matchbox Explorers, number 81 of 120, the Roar by 4. This was really cool because this is when this first came out, Dad. That's, that's a cool name right there. The Roar by 4. This is uh, also 2014 Mattel Incorporated. And uh, I'll tell you one thing. Mattel doesn't, Dad, I just want to say something really quick. Mattel does an incredible job with Matchbox and Hot Wheels. Yep. The Mattel company brings to us so many incredible die casts that are just incredible. And I, and I know that on the show we haven't mentioned Mattel that much, but I honestly want to mention Mattel in this show and say thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mattel, for the Hot Wheels and the Matchbox that you put out there. These things are so legendary. They're authentic. And Dad got, and I, you, I've, you and I've I got some way back. Oh, I got some more that I'm going to bring to them. That's way back in you, the you and very I had early 60s. Cars yeah. for years. Yeah. I mean, 
since I, you know, since 19, I think, 84, I've been collecting Mattel. And since you were a little kid, you've been collecting Mattel. I have. I was playing with Mattel cars when I was two and three years old on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't Mattel. It was actually Liz. So, Liz not only does Mattel do... It was, it was Matchbox cars. Not only does Mattel do Hot Wheels, but Mattel does Matchbox. It's the Mattel company. And they... Mattel just does an incredible job. So, uh, Dad, remember I used to have this in a real truck. Yeah. This is the Chevy K1500. That's it. Four by and four. Four by four. And this has a lift kit, part of the Matchbox Explorer. So, that, that, that's an incredible truck. Yeah, these these particular 4x4s are some of the best trucks on the world for the fact is they they actually have a Duramax diesel and Allison transmission and uh, my brother's got one of my brothers has one of these four by four pickup trucks from Chevrolet, and it's like he said, I probably have an engine and transmission sitting there. The rest of it might be gone, but it'll still be good. Yep. <laughs> you can't you can't go wrong with them. I mean, they're just strong. They work so hard. They pull. They carry. It's just uh, got a great payload on them. And uh, I'm telling you, they're tough. They're good on the road. They're good off road. They just good all around trucks. I tell you one, I, I love the Chevy K fifteen uh, hundred. I used to have one that went what a hundred thousand miles. Oh, that thing we had. Oh, remember? Oh, remember no, we had, had we had two hundred forty six thousand on that thing when I sold it. I want to bring this into view again because remember we went to haul dirt in the bed of the K fifteen hundred. Remember what happened? It, it was it, it the back put, axles were down to the ground and it still hauled the dirt. What? I put five front end loaders into the back of that truck, and the guy says, "You're going to break it down." I says, "I will not break this truck down, but I have to work watch the tires. I'm watching very closely my tires because it could blow a tire. As far as breaking this truck down, I said, "You're not going to break this truck down," and it did not break down. It carried it a long distance. So amazing, amazing. So, Dad, today we have shown so much. If you have stayed to the end of this show today, thank you very much. We greatly appreciate it. Like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel. The biggest way you can help out this channel right here, subscribe, hit the notification bell, but share, share, share. Uh, share with your neighbors, your friends, your coworkers, your family members. You know, share in a grocery store. Doesn't matter. Share this channel. Tell people to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Yeah, it will be a blessing to just, uh, it's always a blessing, and we thank you all so much for allowing us to be a part of your day, and we also treat it as a blessing of knowing that you've been a part of our day. And so much more coming up next week. We do have a Johnny Lightning's special coming up for you all this next week. Dad will be getting some cars together oh, for yeah. that. I'm excited, Dad, to see what kind of cars you're going to have, because oh. uh, it's going to be a surprise to me, too. It's going to be really exciting. Really pumped up about this. If you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And remember, keep being legendary. legendary.